last five minutes of last season um, was, I think, a, a nice setup for this season. Um, you know, seeing uh, them make the decision to stay at division and try to take it over, use it for good. Um, the first five minutes uh, of this season show, one, uh, the reason they've been formed, which is we show a bad guy right away, uh, one of these sort of loose agents, um, rogue agents, uh, rogue like Nikita was in season one, except without any of the morals of Nikita. Um, that sets up what they need to stop. And then we drop back, we, find, we see the new division a little bit, and then we go out and we find Nikita out in the real world um, doing yoga, which is something we've seen her do before, but with a class of all 30 different people, you know, which is something we've never seen her do before, because she's no longer on the run, you know, she's not, you know, she's on the chase, you know, now. so her experience in real life is, uh, is something that's really uh, exciting for her, you know, she's not just stuck in her lair. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Of he's he's dead. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's dead. And Rune is dead too. Maybe. <laughs> brother, though. <laughs> Twin brother. Twin brother. Yeah. Amanda is. Um, Hell had no fury like an Amanda scorn. That's my kiddo. She's she's very Medea like. She is the mom who's been cast out, and she is furious about it. She wants to make Nikita suffer. She wants to basically teach her all her kids that they can't do without her. Um, Percy always had a plan. Uh, he always had a master plan with like 15 steps to it. And Nikita was the thing in the way of that plan. Amanda's plan is basically make Nikita suffer. And that makes her a lot scarier. Because uh, she's solely focused on uh, emotionally on that group. It was uh, it was something that you know you know we always wanted to do. Um, it was just a matter of finding a way to do it so that he was still Owen all the time because I don't I never wanted to waste that character and then have him just kind of like hanging back, going, "What do you need me to do, guys?" Like you always want Owen driven, you know, to do something and kind of be a, a, his own little loose pinball. Uh, so I think we figured out a way to do it. The season long arc essentially is Amanda, and that that kind of um, uh, sort of rises and falls through the season. Um, but I'm really trying to make it a more of a standalone standalone season. And then the the love and sex arcs uh, are things that move through. Those, those are things that are bigger this season. They kind of move through, but they can live within an episode. And so you don't have to have somebody like you know Carla Bennett come in for like three episodes and kind of take over the, the arc. That I don't think is something we're going to do. We have like a character comes in for like three episodes. Big, you know, um, it was sort of, uh, again, at the at the beginning of the second season, is sort of if we got a third, this is sort of what it would look like. I've always loved shows like, um, uh, like I love in the Bourne movies, whenever Bourne goes up against another Treadstone agent, I always feel like those are the most exciting parts for me. And I like things where, like a show like Highlander or something like that, where there's, there's a bunch of special people out there amongst regular people, and we go out and we're special like them too, and then we encounter each other across sort of a sea of regular people and all kinds of mayhem, you know, erupts as a result. And something about that I've always dug. So that's sort of what this is gonna feel like. Mainly for this, it's, uh, it's movies, um, you know. Uh, TV-wise, I, I mostly watch like comedies or, um, you know, I've started to watch um, Breaking Bad now. I can't believe I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Don't say anything. Don't tell me anything. Um, but um, but yeah, for this, it's uh, we have a we have a list of of, of movies that um, that somehow always come up. I don't know what they're going to be for season three. I know for um, for season two it was X Men two. We talked about a lot. It was the Born Supremacy. It was Annie. Um, it was uh, the old GI Joe series. It was like. Um, there was something else, Miller's Crossing. 
um, and uh, and then Game of Thrones. Wait, did you say Annie? Annie. <laughs> Annie is referenced. Annie somehow comes up a lot. Um, and, Little orphan. Yeah, maybe that's it. You know, there's something that there's, there's like plot things that happen in Annie that like I don't know. I don't know what it is. You can predict certain things that are going to happen in season three if you go watch it. She's working for the man now. She's used to fighting the man. Um, and sort of once she starts to realize that that's what's happening, she becomes really uh, uncomfortable with it. Michael is a, a patriot. You know, he was not from death row. He was, a, you know, he was a soldier from before. So he's totally on board with this. Um, and that sort of, you know, brings up some sort of dinner table discussion. <laughs> sort of um, I think it's going to be uh, obviously Michael and Nikita, and then. Um, a bunch of different triangles that start to to form, you know, between Michael, Nikita, Owen, Ryan, Alex, Sean. They, they all kind of get. Uh, Berkhoff. Uh, Berkhoff, Berkhoff, well, Berkhoff and Sonya is going to be really fun to watch. Ooh. So, yeah.